feels like I went backward in time. It's all nice and warm in town and no snow. Still not freezing out, but it keeps coming down so thick. It's just building up. And there's no power. Went out early this morning and it's pretty, uh, well, I need to go get my diesel heater. One of my portables. Also need to get a few other things, so I'm gonna make a little trip to town. Digging out parts for patches, going through the inventory and seeing what I need to do. I need to work on straightening out this door. I'm just gonna put some slices in it and put it in where it's supposed to go and just line it up to the uh, door frame or the door jam. Uh, but I do wanna go grab my stick welder and do a little welding with that. Should save me money on gas, uh, welding gas, shielding gas. We're getting lots of practice with the wire feed, so I'll go grab the stick, get some practice on that. Got the all powers running the refrigerator right now. Ice Co. still working awesome, no problems. Got it hooked up to the AC. Working awesome, love this thing. I freaking love this trick. It's all over the place in two-wheel drive. Unless I'm trying to get uphill. Yesterday I had to put it in four-wheel drive. That works awesome too. Oh, that's stuck. No, it's not. Love the dualies. I need to go eat breakfast. Try not to take off on town trips without eating. I need to not skip breakfast. Oh, I got a big old list of stuff to grab. Oh good, I just found a box of stuff that I was looking for. Oh, the VIN number is in here. I need to find that door VIN. And of course it's not, but got some dry erase markers. I needed that. Is it going to stay? Yes, nice. Those are very, this is very handy to have. No VIN number. Yeah, hard-boiled eggs. Let's make an egg sandwich. Also got the heat shield for the RV starter motor since that has a real problem with heat soak. Um, might get another one for Rusty, even though he doesn't really seem to need it. Looks like he could use it though. Protect that motor a little bit.
Oh, it is a. It's got fog and snow on the ground. It's just. Yeah, come down the hill a little bit, and there's just a light layer of snow. It's not sticking as bad as it is up top of the hill. Very pretty out though.
pretty heavy, I could feel it. But still no heart shifting. I don't know what that's about. Maybe I should try and get that throttle position sensor like a couple of you told me. Who knows? Maybe that's just being finicky. Or something, I don't know. I'm a little tired of just throwing parts at this truck. I wanna... Maybe test it first. I uh, got everything I needed except the VIN number for the door. That is probably, it might be in one of the boxes I grabbed, but it also might just be in uh, uh, the RV. I put a bunch of things in, up inside the RV, so it might be in there. There's one other place I can look as well. Otherwise, I'm going to have to take a second trip back to the storage unit and uh, thoroughly go through all my boxes and stuff. Yeah, that thing's pretty nice. Nice body. I do not care for the new... like all the emissions crap that they put in the vehicles now. Yeah, nice paint job too. I like it. inside too but yeah if it's a diesel it's gonna have all that DEF crap just a bunch of garbage that just makes newer cars unreliable and extremely hard to work on so if I ever got something new like that it'd have to be like one with a bad engine and I could do like old 454 swap in it or something. There's no way I will ever drive something with DEF in it. What a load of BS. Just a money grab. I'm not going 
going northbound. That is already jammed up. really bad you'll be stuck on that 405 bridge for freaking an hour or two just creeping along so looks like I missed the thickest part of it Beaverton is that where I'm at or is this still Portland Here's the brake lights. Everybody's gonna start stopping. Because we've got to merge to go places. That's a cool looking ambulance. Blue ambulance. Shift. Yeah, Rusty's doing just 
fine. That's a sweet little van right there. A Dodge. my little phase of adding neon to cars. I never put it on my own cars, but I installed it on a buddy's car once or twice. He liked the underglow stuff. Put it up inside his, like under his dash and under seats. Not really into the fast car scene anymore. I'm into RVs now. Rolling homes, it's even cooler. Even cooler than fast cars. I might have a fast car again one day. Eh, they usually get me into trouble though. Oop! Brake lights. Oh my god. People turning at the last second. Actually, I probably get back into 4x4s before I get back into fast cars, lowered Civics, and will drive Subarus and
Alright, made it back. Safe and sound. Mission is... I needed to find that VIN number, so I'll have to do some digging around. Might be in here somewhere. Also might be in the RV, but... Uh, mission mostly accomplished. Got some tools, stick welder, stuff for the RV to put it back together. Ugh, now I'm tired. I'm gonna go back and sleep another 12 hours. Get myself completely caught up. All right, the power's back. Good news. Plug these heaters back in. Worried about fires while I'm gone, so I usually unplug these things. Found it. Got the door VIN and uh, the other VIN number that goes by the passenger door. So, that's awesome. No more wondering where that's at. Back in action. Stay tuned, everybody. We'll get working on this RV here soon.